हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू हैवन सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल येट नाउ लेट्स सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज सेड दैट द अनस्ट्रेच लेंथ ऑफ ए स्प्रिंग ए बी इज थ्री मीटर्स सो लेट्स से दैट एक्स ए बी अनस्ट्रेच लेंथ इज एक्स ए बी ओ ओरिजिनल लेंथ सो लेट से दिस इज इक्वल टू थ्री मीटर्स राइट एंड इट इज सेड दैट इफ द ब्लॉक इज हेल्ड इन द इक्विलिब्रियम position shown determine the mass of the block at d right so we have to find the mass of this block right so we are given the force ab in this ab spring right so if we represent this force so here we will have the force of this spring which will be acting in this direction right so the force ab of this spring is given indirectly right so let me write that this is f a b right so the force ab will be equal to k the spring constant ab and delta and delta is the change in length of the spring right so the change in length of the spring will be equal to so k ab and this will be equal to x ab minus x ab original length right so x ab is the final length the stretch length and this is the original and the unstretched length right so this will give us the force ab so now in this problem we are given this k ab which is 30 newton per meter right so we will write 30 and this x ab is given indirectly in terms of these uh, dimensions right so we can find this ab length x ab if we use this triangle right so if i draw this triangle so we have this length this length is 4 this length is 3 right this length is 3 and this is that ab right so let's say this is that x ab the stretch length right so if we use the pythagoras theorem so then we can find this x ab length so x ab square will be equal to 3 square plus 4 square and if we take square root so then that will be the stretch length of that spring ab right so this stretch length comes out to be 5 meters So now this x a b is five. This is given. This is three, right? So this is thirty into two. So this is sixty newton force, right? So f a b force is sixty newton, right? So this means that this f a b force is given. This is sixty newtons, right? And similarly, we will have the f a c force which will be acting in this direction, right? And this. f a d force will be equal to the weight of the box right so we will have this f a d force which will be acting vertically downward this is f a d and this will be equal to the weight of this block right let's say that this is our positive x axis is and this is our positive y axis is right so now as we can see that this uh, f a c force is making some theta right so let's say this is theta and this fab force is making some angle let's say that this is alpha right so now we can find this theta by using this triangle right if this length is 3 and this length is 3 so we can we can say that this length is 3 and this length is 3 so this is both of these lengths are equal so this means that this angle is 45 right so this means that this theta is 45 if we apply tan theta so tan theta will be equal to 3 divided by 3 right so this will be theta will be tan inverse so tan inverse and 3 divided by 3 is 1 so this theta is 45 degrees right so this angle is given so this means that if this is 45 so then this angle is also 45 degrees similarly we can find this alpha if this angle is alpha so then this angle is also alpha and we can say that since this is that triangle right so we can say that this angle is also alpha so we can find this alpha angle by using this triangle right and this x a b length is 5 meters right so now if we apply the summation of forces along x axis is equals to 0 if we apply this equilibrium condition so then we have to resolve these forces right so this fab force will have one component in this direction right and this will be the cos component right so we can write that this will be fab cos so fab is 60 so this will be 60 cos of alpha 
and then we will have one another component of this FAC force it will be acting in the negative x direction right so this will be FAC cos of 45 degrees and then we will have uh, one component of this FAC which will be acting in this direction right so this will be the sine component we can write this is FAC sine of 45 degrees and similarly this FAB force will have one component in this direction and this will be the sine component so we can write that this will be 60 sine of alpha right so now if we apply the summation of forces along x so then this 60 cos of alpha is acting in the positive x direction so we will write 60 cos of alpha and this is acting in the negative x direction so we will write minus FAC cos of 45 degree and this will be equal to 0 or we can say that FAC cos of 45 degrees is equal to 60 cos of alpha and we can write this cos of alpha from this triangle right so from this triangle we can say that cos of alpha is base divided by hypotenuse so we can write that this is 4 divided by 5 right so cos of alpha is 4 divided by 5 right and FAC will be equal to 60 into 4 divided by 5 divided by cos of 45 so from this FAC equals to 67.88 newtons right so this is this force in spring AC similarly if we apply the summation of forces along y axis is equal to 0 if we apply the summation of forces along y axis is equal to 0 so as we can see that this 60 sine of alpha is acting in the positive y direction right so 60 sine of alpha similarly this FAC sine of 45 degrees is acting in the positive y direction so we will write plus FAC is now 67.88 sine of 45 degrees and this weight is acting downwards right so we will write minus w and this will be equal to 0 and now again from this triangle we can find sine of alpha so sine of alpha will be perpendicular divided by hypotenuse so we can say that this is 3 divided by 5 from the triangle right and if we bring this w to the other side of equation so this will be equal to this whole term will be equal to w so this will give us the weight of the box so the weight of the box is 84 newtons right and we can find the mass of the box by using w is equal to mg this is 84 so then mass will be equal to 84 divided by 9.81 from this mass of the box is equal to 8.56 kgs right so this is the solution of this particular problem